I've been quoted as saying, and it's true, probably the most dangerous dive I ever did, including the one to the Mariana Trench. The most dangerous one was the first dive I did at the Titanic solo. And the reason why, wrecks are very dangerous because they have cables and ropes. And the number one danger to a submersible is getting entangled, the propellers, with a rope or a cable. You can't go out there and untangle it. Plus, it's very dark down there. Most people think if you go to the Titanic, you'll see the wreck. You don't, you see a very limited amount, like 30 or 40 meters maximum, really only about 20 because there's so much stuff in the water. So you're only looking at it like through a straw here and there. It's cool, don't get me wrong, but it's not like seeing the grand vista of the wreck. You're seeing it only in particles at a time. Half the time I was looking inside the sub at the sonar display. And the other half of the time, I'm trying to look outside the window to see how close I am to the wreck, et cetera. That's really dangerous. What I learned on that dive, you need one person on the inside monitoring the instruments and the sonar, one person staring outside for obstructions. So I inched the sub really close. I'm like five meters from this big sonar target in front of me. I'm looking out the window, nothing but black ocean. And then it hit me. I went, oh. I slowly started to go up in the submarine. And within a second or two, I saw the first row of portals and then the next row of portals, and then the next, and then the railing. I didn't realize how big it was. Wow. So my first experience with the Titanic was this realization of, this is a big wreck. After the four hours I did doing that, I mean, I was, I was ready to come up. Was it eerie down there? I mean, how many it people was. died on that? It was just me and the wreck. It was spooky. I'll bet. I will confess. In fact, at one point, the lights of my submarine were shining into the wreck through the glass portals, almost like you could see someone with a light inside. It was weird. Now, there are no bodies there. The bodies have been consumed by the ocean, and you don't really see that much in terms of personal artifacts, but it's like a big, jumbled, dark, spooky museum. <laughs>